Well, folks, I thought I'd show you something here. Earlier, I was out doing some running around. Stopped in it. And I'll let you know before we go too far. I am not sponsored by any of the companies that are going to be mentioned here. First of all, I stopped in at Shields. I was looking for some uh, a particular type ketchup that we like there. But we're going to have to order it online because they didn't have it at the store. But! I came up with a small ammo haul. Small because our budget only allows so much. First of all, I picked up the box of CCI 22 caliber. That's the long rifle. Quiet. And that's uh, a lead round nose target uh, type bullet and 45 grain 835 feet per second that's a lot of shoes to put on ha uh -huh. and I was thinking oh they didn't have any uh, 223 or 556 ammo in I went over to the next aisle sure enough found some Browning ammunition in 223 Remington and this is the Predator and Varmint load they had that for well I'll give you the prices later and I had to go find the price of that because it wasn't marked that was right next to some 9 millimeter that they had priced for 20 rounds of 9 millimeter $42.99 that's not counting tax I didn't pick any of that up I went back to the 22 section instead I picked up a box of CCI blazer ammunition and 22 long rifle <clears throat> this way I can stock up on that because you know what 50 rounds compared to 20 rounds is a heck of a lot better deal and sure that's 22 not 9 millimeter but 22 will do I picked up the quiets because my wife is uh, recoil and noise sensitive and I figure if she shot that through the uh, single shot rifle it'd be like shooting 22 shorts she wouldn't be bothered at all by it okay now we're gonna get down to the dirty part of this the prices the uh, 22 blazers were $4.99 the 22 quiet were 4.99 not bad for 22 nowadays the uh, 223 was $21.99 and that's a 50 round box so that's not bad With tax and all, it jumped clear up to $34.37. So now you see why I did not go out, go all out and buy four or five boxes of each. Because we are trying to save some of this money that we are bringing in. I want to show you what the uh, varmint round looks like. If I can without wrecking the box there we go I got it open it's a nice looking round it's a I'll just say chrome case with a uh, 
interesting tipped, I'd say that's a plastic or a polymer tip on there, bullet. Primers look nice too. They're a brass primer in a polished nickel or chrome case, whatever you want to call it. But I figure for 50 rounds, that's not too shabby. <clears throat> and I'm going to put these back in the box so I don't drop them on the floor and lose them. And as you can tell from my prior videos, I do a lot of target practicing. Maybe once every year or twice every year. So I'm not going hog wild with the ammunition. But I get enough to keep me satisfied and maybe set back some. Let's take a look at the blazer ammunition here. You've probably seen 22 ammunition before. But this is your regular lead slug. 22 brass cased. Come on, you cotton picker. Eh. And it's in a plastic holder like we usually get for 22. But that's a nice looking little bullet there. Good for target practicing. I'm not going to argue with it. What I'm going to take a look at here now is the CCI Quiet. And they look about the same as the Blazer bullet wise. <clears throat> but I guess they go a few feet uh, slower. <laughs> I don't. <clears throat> but, you know, not bad. We can punch holes in paper with that. Or if we get lucky and get our hunting license this year and go after squirrel, 22 works great for that. I imagine these varmint rounds would work good for deer hunting as well. I don't know of a spot around here to deer hunt, so I'll do what I can with what I got. Pardon me. <clears throat> but that's what I came up with with my ammo haul. So thanks for watching and we'll do this again another time. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll uh, try this again. Bye-bye.